Hi, my name is Jamin Gurker. I'm a realtor in South Central Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching you in real estate. Now, today's video, we have kind of a funner topic. I'm gonna to be discussing some of the popular dating ideas, whether that be as a single or somebody who is married. So we'll go and talk about some of these dating ideas at the very end. I'm gonna to talk to you just um, uh, about some stuff I shouldn't have to talk to you about, but we're gonna dive into it anyway, so stick around for that. If you haven't done so already, do make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to receive more information like this, and without further ado, let's go and jump into it. So first thing I'm gonna say, most of the stuff that we're gonna be discussing today is very outdoors oriented and very activity kind of oriented. Um, <clears throat> that's just because that's in general gonna be the, the type of people that are gonna be attracted to Alaska and the last frontier. So we're just gonna say it up front and not be ashamed of it, but here we go. Probably the first thing I would say is hiking is a great date. Um, this is awesome because you get to see like all the natural beauty, you get to turn off the electronics for a little bit and you get that real quality time with the other person. Um, as you're, you're working to get somewhere. So that's that's really awesome. Second thing a lot of people like to go and do is uh, berry picking. So that's, that's a lot of fun. Um, if you're doing that, gentlemen or whoever is with you there on the day, do make sure you bring some kind of bear spray or some kind of firearm just for some, some safety out there. We like berries, bears also like berries. So make sure that you're ready for, uh, ready for that. You don't want anyone to, to cut in on you if you get what I mean. So next thing I would say, sightseeing, very popular for this. Just get in the car, drive around, and take a look at everything that's going on. Just because we live in an area where there's such world-class scenery all the way around, just getting in the car and driving a couple hours to Denali or to Homer or Seward is a great use of your time. Obviously, make sure you pack some kind of lunch or picnic along too. In other words, it doesn't count as a date. So that would be the next one. Another great date is going to be camping out. Well, I say camping out, but going and looking at the Northern Lights. And you've got some apps where you can kind of forecast exactly when the, um, when the good Northern Lights is gonna be and where they're gonna be at. You know, usually within some, um, with some uh, margin for error. But what you can do is actually go get some hot chocolate, get a blanket, go figure out where the Northern Lights are gonna be go to that area, park, hike, do whatever you gotta be there, do to get there, and just have some hot chocolate and stay warm under a really thick blanket because it's gonna be cold out there wherever that's at, and it's gonna be the dead of Alaska winter. So that's another great idea. Another really good idea, more specifically to the, to the winter time obviously, is going to be sledding. That's really good. Cross country skiing, that's really good. Kinda depends, um, kinda depends what you guys are, are both into. Um, ice skating, very popular. You can do that either outside in some, some city squares here in Alaska, lakes or wherever it's at. You can also go indoors to, our, um, to the mall over in Anchorage and they'll have a skating rink in there as well. So there's a, there's a lot of good wintertime activities. Let's go and switch gears a little bit now and talk about the summer activities. Like we said, you can go driving around and hiking. That's, that's really nice. Um, you can also go fishing. Um, I'm just gonna say this, there's usually one member uh, between the two of you that is really into fishing and the other one is just tagging along for the ride. So if you wanna do this, make sure you pick maybe uh, a location that's not so, not so hardcore, maybe not so butch the very first time that you go. Um, so that's, that's what I'm gonna say about that. Um, you can definitely go go for some picnics. That's that's always really nice. That's really a great option. Um, driving around, that's going to be really good. Paddle boarding, that's that's going to be a great option. Um, really, if you can pick something that maybe you haven't done before yourself, so you can both kind of just enjoy getting used to it. That kind of depends on the person, but I, I think that would be um, that would be a lot of fun. On that note. Can definitely go give uh, give surfing a try. This one might be less of a, a dating act. Well, I don't know. Depends depends on the person. This might be a great dating idea if you're really adventurous. You maybe have some experience with paddle boarding already, but that's that's a great option. Yes, surfing in Alaska. Um, it's on the the board tie and the turnigan arm. 
do not do it until you go talk to somebody who's actually done it before. I have not, so don't talk to me, but uh, make sure you talk to someone that's done it before. Okay, I've given you a lot of good ideas here. Very outdoors oriented. Obviously, we have you know the nice dinners that you can go get just like you would anywhere. And so that's, that's really nice, but these are really kind of Alaska specific dating ideas. And I'll, I'll just say for online dating, if I'm, I'm looking through profiles and stuff like that, if I see someone on there that doesn't mention liking hiking or anything outdoors, or there's not kind of the, the picture there with them kissing a salmon, I'm just gonna assume that person's a bot just because it's so, so prevalent here in Alaska. So if you're really into the outdoors, you're gonna be in luck. You're probably gonna be able to find someone that really is gonna like these activities. Now, what I would say real quick, and this is the stuff that I said before we were gonna talk about. Um, obviously, be safe on these dates. Um, if you are asking somebody out to go hiking on very first date, probably, probably don't do that. Um, essentially, you're asking somebody to step off into the, the wilderness. Uh, there might not be a lot of people around very first time to meet you. Not, not a good way to do it. Um, one idea around that, because obviously COVID, we all want to stay socially distanced, yada, yada, yada. We've said it a million times, tired of talking about it. But a good way to get around that might be just to invite that person and bring some of their, his or her friends along with them just to kind of break the ice a little bit and maybe make them feel like they're not gonna get murdered out in the middle of the woods. So just an idea, just an idea. So those have been my ideas here. If you have any others, do make sure you post those in the comments section down below. I am really interested to see what you come up with. And real quick, actually, this is something that just came to mind. So this is gonna be a real bonus for you though that are out there that stuck to the end. Go on the Alaska Railroad system. It's year round, so summer and winter, and it's just 12 hours straight of just world-class Alaska scenery from a train that's pretty comfortable. You get to play cards or talk. Now, last time I went, they had some, some food they were serving on there too. So definitely make sure you go check that out. That is an awesome, awesome date. Um, a little bit more of a longer experience for sure, more of a journey, but still a ton of fun. So. Take advantage of that. And while I'm throwing bonuses out here, I mean, the, the hot springs up in Fairbanks, that's gonna be another great location. Again, more of a trip, kind of depends where you're at, but still gonna be a fun trip. Uh, dry cabins during the, the summer and winter time, also pretty fun, depends on the person and um, how butch they, they wanna get into it with um, kind of getting off the grid. So lots of ideas here. Um, if you're creative, you should never be lacking for a good idea for a date in this state. So uh, I guess if you have any, uh, any further questions about Alaska or um, I guess on maybe the dating scene in Alaska, I don't know, feel free to post those down below and be happy to answer those as best I can. So thank you for watching. Um, if you wanna get in contact with me directly, please do so through my Facebook page. Link for that is gonna be down below. If you're ready to, to start hearing about what it's like living on Alaska from those who actually live here, check out my podcast, Alaskan Journey. Again, in the comment section down below, if you're ready to start checking out homes, link for that is gonna be up above, just talking about how to download the app. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.